Good morning. A live view of the Cygnus cargo craft as, on Northrop Grumman's 12th resupply mission as it approaches the International Space Station. Cygnus continues to make its approach toward the International Space Station. It recently crossed the approach ellipsoid. That's the one kilometer line around the station. And upon crossing that, joint operations begin between Northrop Grumman and NASA. The spacecraft itself is now at the 400 meter point. Teams on the ground are expecting Cygnus to arrive at the 250 meter hold point in about four minutes and 30 seconds now. You can see the colors changing in the clouds below Cygnus, and that's because we are approaching what is called the Terminator line. That's the difference between day and night on Earth, the space station making about 16 orbits of Earth every day. Northrop Grumman Cygnus catching the glint of the sun as it enters an orbital nighttime over New Zealand. About two minutes away from the 250 meter hold point on its way up to the International Space Station this morning. Things still moving smoothly this morning. It's about an hour until Cygnus reaches that capture point of 10 to 15 meters from the International Space Station. So we're still looking for an on-time capture at about 3.10 a.m. Central Time. Cygnus has now reached the 250 meter hold point where it will stay for some checks here on the ground and eventually proceed through the 200 meter Kefau sphere before continuing its ascent to the International Space Station. Station Houston on space to ground two. Confirm 30 meter hold and set up for capture per step six in 1.102. Cygnus still at the 30 meter hold point as the International Space Station is flying 262 statute miles over the North Atlantic Ocean. You can see the space station has now crossed over into an orbital daytime, flying over 17,000 miles per hour. Station East announced Space to Ground 2 for Cygnus. Cygnus is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. We'll see Cygnus move much, slow, much more slowly than it was earlier today up to the capture point of about 10 to 12 meters away from the International Space Station.
This view down the latching and defector of the Canada Arm 2, you can see Cygnus approaching the space station very slowly and deliberately. It will be arriving at that capture point very shortly. Cygnus is now holding about 12 meters away from the International Space Station at its capture point. Station Station capture conditions confirmed. Crews ready for Cygnus capture. Station Houston on two for Cygnus. Your go for Cygnus capture sequence. Step four in one decimal one one zero. Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the back away cue card. The crew has received the green light to go ahead and use the cannon arm to, to reach out and capture Cygnus. We'll start to see it move very slowly toward the spacecraft. It will make initial contact and then capture will be confirmed once a series of snares have closed. The robotic arm is now in motion. Arm four meters away from Cygnus. From this view, you can see the arm slowly approaching that grapple fixture on Cygnus. Cannon arm two, now two and a half meters away from the vehicle. Arm now one and a half meter. Arm is now one meter. The arm is now over the pin, alignment looking good. And the snares have closed, and Cygnus capture has been confirmed as it was flying over, the, over Madagascar at 3.10 a.m. Central Time, 4.10 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. 
and the final latches that attach the Canon Arm 2 to Cygnus have been completed. Sensation on 2, Cygnus capture complete. Go for Cygnus close capture reconfiguration. Copy all, good capture. Houston, this Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft is named after Apollo 12 astronaut Alan Bean, the fourth human to walk on the moon. As in just 10 days, it will be the 50th anniversary of the launch of Bean's mission. This vehicle honors the legacy of the past, advances our efforts in the present with its delivery of critical International Space Station cargo, and also serves as a harbinger of the future with NASA's current plans to return to the moon with the Artemis missions. Congratulations to the dedicated personnel that brought another successful signal resupply mission to fruition. Copy and welcome to the ISS.